in that state of darkness and doom and gloom. The world system is going to want you to focus on the negative. It's going to want you to focus on that dark saying. There is no opportunity for the Lord to redeem you here. There is no hope. If you keep listening to that, Hebrews 2, 1, that word that the Lord has given you, that promise that the Lord has given you is going to slip away. Now, that's not declaring anything over you or anything like that, but this is just the understanding and the revelation that we've got from the word of God. When, I, when you come to a place where you feel like, Lord, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm far from your promise, I go back to either my notebook or my three by five card or my post-it notes or whatever and just remind myself what the Lord has said to me. Lord, this is what you said unto me in this situation. I'm not going to let this word slip away. I'm not going to let this word drift away or run out. Sometimes, and I, I know when as a young believer, started getting a little bit of uh, revelation from the Lord on that. And I always, or I shouldn't say always, but in previous times, I just thought of it as like a bucket. When I mean, you're talking about slip away or run out. Sometimes your bucket might be full of the word of God. Get to a place where a number of things are pulling on you at any given time, and it's running out, running out, running out. Drifting away. Right. Brother Michael, I don't think that I need to write these promises down, these scriptures down on a three by five card and keep it in front of my eyes. This is the individual that's going to be a result of Hebrews 2 1 eventually. They are going to run out. 